Welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie and I've been in the kitchen all day. It has been an amazing day. Um, it's seven o'clock and I am not done. I am going to make cranberry sauce to can uh, because this is going to make more than what we'll be able to eat this Thanksgiving. Um, but I personally love cranberry sauce. Like I love it a lot. I could eat it on the side with a lot of different things. So um, I'm also going to make it shelf stable so that way I can have it whenever I want it. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do first is I have some, did you hear that? That's my salsa I just pulled out of the canner. Um, I have some jars that I need to wash up and get in the oven. I like to bake my jars to sterilize them. So I'm gonna wash my jars, throw them in the oven, and let them sterilize while I get the cranberry sauce ready. So um, I'm going to be canning these in half pint jelly jars. Um, which is a really great size again, especially if not a lot of people in your family like cranberry sauce I've already got my canner over here. You can see I have four jars of salsa left. Um, those did not fit in my first uh, Canning session. So I already have my uh, hot water bath canner Halfway filled with water. It's on the eye to come up to a simmer um, In this pot, I'm gonna have my lids and my bands um, And then I'm going to be cooking my cranberry sauce here on the back so let's get started. Okay, so to make our cranberry sauce that we are going to use for canning, we are first going to use uh, two bags. This is two 12 ounce bags of cranberries. I actually bought these a couple of years ago when they were on sale for 25 cents. And I bought several bags and threw them in my freezer. Hopefully I can do that again this year because these are my last two bags. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat to medium. So I love this recipe because it's so easy to remember. It's two bags of cranberries, two cups of white sugar, two cups of brown sugar, two cups of orange juice, and then you're gonna stir all of that together and you're gonna cook it over medium heat. Your cranberries are going to pop and you're just waiting until it sort of starts to gel together. Right, this is starting to bubble away. I've got it turned down though because I really don't want it to bubble over. Um, but here in a little bit, these little butters are gonna start popping, which is awesome. And we're just gonna cook this kind of slow until it starts to thicken up and we'll be able to start here. See, some of these cranberries are already starting to pop. Okay. Let that simmer away, but now that we're at this point, I'm here I have a um, cinnamon stick. Um, that little bit of goo that you saw on the end was where I had already stuck it down in the, <laughs> I had already stuck it down in there. So this is going to simmer now for probably, well, until it gets nice and thick really. Okay, so we'll come back when it gets to that point. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start ladling these into jars. So never mind the uh, spills there from <laughs> where we have uh, did the salsa bit here. Now that this spoon has cooled a little bit, you can definitely see this is a beautiful jelly consistency. So this probably simmered for about 30 minutes or so. First, we are gonna leave a fourth of an inch of headspace. Then we're gonna wipe our rims. This is a paper towel that's been soaked in white distilled vinegar. And then we'll put on our lids and our bands. I'm gonna use my deep bubbler and just kinda move everything around. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Too. Be careful. Okay. 
now we're gonna lower these into the pot. We're gonna bring this up to a rolling boil. Once we reach to a rolling boil, we're gonna process for 15 minutes. You also wanna make sure that you have enough water in your canner that when you lower these into the water, you'll have about an inch of water over the tops of the jars. I think I'm actually gonna have a little more than that, or a lot more than that. <laughs> so I'm actually going to dip some of this water out. It's not gonna hurt it to have too much. bring this to a boil and then time it for 15 minutes all right guys so our cranberry sauce has processed for 15 minutes I've turned <laughs> I've turned the heat off I'm just gonna move this to the back burner being very careful not to scoot the pot but to actually lift it it's not totally off but it's fine we're gonna leave the lid on we're just gonna let it hang out for about five minutes and then in five minutes, we'll come back and we will take our jars out of the canner. As you can see, I did a salsa canning session. Now I have my cranberry sauce and all of this is gonna hang out overnight undisturbed. When we come back in the morning, we will check the seals. We'll get the uh, jars wiped down, labeled, and then get them on the pantry shelf. Okay, friends, it is the next morning. I have taken the rings off of the um, cranberry sauce and every single one of them has sealed for me. Um, I've checked by lifting by the lid, whoops, and every single one of them have sealed. And you can see that the jelly has set up beautifully. I'm just gonna get these labeled and on the shelf. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we hope that every single one of you have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Until next time.